can't say enough uh, in terms of Jeff Canarsi's knowledge, um, his um, consistency, uh, his content is strong, um, and he just does a very good job at uh, sharing kind of his opinion, his views. Um, I was kind of pushing and pulling between boss and underboss. The only reason that's maybe holding Jeff back to full boss status um, is, uh, and I don't blame him, he deserves and earns a living through this. So a lot of his stuff is on subscription base, which I haven't listened to a lot of it, but his YouTube uh, stuff is fire. Check out Mob Talk Radio, and then more importantly, subscribe to his paid subscription. From a business perspective, he does it right, but he lands very firmly, in my opinion, in the underboss uh, category. Next up is Andy Ruggiano. Uh, Anthony uh, is was an associate of the Gambino crime family, son of legend uh, Andy, Fat Andy Ruggiano. Um, this is an interesting one. So he, um, you know, ended up as an associate. I think he cooperated in about 2005, 2006. Um, I had the pleasure of being a guest on that show. Um, I like him personally. He's kind of a raw guy. He's very transparent. He's open about his addiction, uh, ex exhibition, exhibition uh, issues, sorry. Um, he's currently clean. He kind of goes an inch wide, mile deep. Um, and I put Anthony in and pricking his finger at the soldier level. Um, next up is mob archeologist. I think this is headed up by Dr. James Bucciolato with a few other mobologists. Um, this is newer to the space. I think it's a great show. Um, it definitely is geared towards the mobologists. I said there's three types of people in the space. You got people that are kind of directly or indirectly related, so they want to learn or know or battle some misbeliefs. You have the mobologists, which I think are about 40%. These are people that are historians of the mob, and the other 40 to 50% are the popcorn eaters. This is a true mobologist show point period they own the mobologist space the only downside is the mobologist space is not as big as you would think they're newer on the scene so i'm going to put them in at the associate level uh, the original sorry the original gangsters podcast this is a strong the only downside is it should be bigger i'm not sure why i firmly put them in at top of status um next guy next up is a wise guy tv um wise guy tv is very talented i like his voice he has good cadence and he's really doing a nice job at putting together a nice nice channel, putting a, a really good program together. Um, I like his vibe. I've spoken to um, Wise Guy TV in the past on email, I think on the phone even, if I if I didn't, but either way, I talk to so many people these days, um, but just really like his vibe, really like what he's doing. Um, he gets he gets maybe mixed up with the drama a little bit, not directly, but he, you know, comments here and there. I would stay away from that if I were him, but other than that, I like his vibe and I put him at the associate level. Um, again, strong, strong content. Please check out Wise Guy TV if you have it. And again, he's somebody that I see his name being passed around on the list very soon. Um, Angel Gotti, so, you know, daughter of, um, like him or hate him, the Teflon Don, um, had her sister on recently. Um, she does share some stories about her father and growing up and um it's you know it's a it's a good show if you like to hear somebody uh who is from that life who grew up in that life but she doesn't necessarily talk about the mob and nor necessarily is it a mob show but unfortunately or fortunately depending how you look at it with the last name Gotti, you're going to be branded the mob um she did get marred a little bit up in the drama she seemed to be pulling away which i think is a great move so i was a little conflicted on where to um land angel on this on this spectrum um does angel own a tom levecki voodoo doll probably but i will not let that affect my opinion of her in the show i put her firmly in at the capo territory maybe in this case we'll call it cop up i don't know if that's uh appropriate but that'd be the female version of a captain next up is mooney dash cam um i'm gonna put him up at capo status i i, I see him as being kind of like the next OC Stop. short is no excuses with Mikey scars and RJ Rogers. I was a little conflicted on where I should land on this, but I want to give you my thought process before I put them up on the tier maker. So I kind of said, okay, for the mobologists, they would like it because Michael really has a strong understanding and lineage of Cosa Nostra, right? Um, number two, we're all clamoring for whether we like it or not, mobologists and the popcorn eaters, really post Gotti era 
And then obviously the Gambinos, Michael delivers on that. Um, RJ Rogers covers the historical aspect and the creator aspect, which I think is golden. Um, he has an MBA, so though I focus a little bit more focused in on the end, uh, the business aspect of Cosa Nostra, I just think him being a business guy by nature, um, that bleeds through. So that kind of covers that for me. And then obviously, uh, respectfully, he um, Mikey did cooperate, so he knows their inner workings of the mob, and I will put them in at boss status. So um, this is my rankings, uh, tier two uh, ranking. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, the first one, evidently, I got a lot of emails and the like. Uh, and, uh, you know, let's... all right, Tika, 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 you stai registrando un video? Dammi cinque minuti, per favore. Okay. Dom Sakali, okay. I have him at Capo status. Now, not because he was a Capo in the street, but because he came on hard, he came on fast. Last time I checked was at 7,000 subs very quickly, which is a lot for this space. Um, and he's providing some really critical limps from a made member's point of view in the Bronx. I don't believe there's been yet a uh, informant that was Bronx space that flipped for any family, let alone the Bananos. I like what Dom's doing. My only knock is the rapping. I would put him a little higher if I could. The rapping holds him back a little bit. I just think he needs to work on his cadence. Just having fun with you, Dom. But I put Dom as a capo there. Next is Jimmy Calandra. Now, uh, Jimmy Calandra, although an associate in real life, um, I'm going to prick his finger and have him inducted into the mob genre as a soldier. Why do you ask? Number one, does not have a digital marketing background. Did it all by himself. Really probably was not great with computers, not great with content. Had a green screen that just sat there. So it was very genuine and he started off very strong. Respectfully, what's holding him back from even higher is he had some setbacks. So again, what brought him here was kind of his roughness, work ethic, and, and did a lot of great content. Whether you like him or not, did a lot of great content, but then kind of got uh, jammed up a little bit in some of the nonsense. That's what I think is holding him back from a higher tier. But at the bare minimum, for a guy who's from the street, who was an associate, who just jumped on YouTube and just like kind of just shoots from the hip, whether you like him or not, is not easy to do. And I kind of pricked his finger and made him a soldier. This is one of my favorites and one of the shows that you should not sleep on. Uh, Jay Cleddy's Rackets. I am going to put her as the underboss. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. She does it with such style. She does it with such grace. She does it with such respect. She is what this genre should be. And even myself aspire to. Mob Reporter. Now, this is a biggie. I think it's about a half million subs. They are, and you guys may or may not agree with this, I put him at boss status. Well produced videos, 11 to 15 minutes, take complicated subjects and put them in digestible form. Highly, highly, highly recommend Mob, mob Reporter. And if you're into mob content in US, Canada and Italy, Mob Reporter is where it's at. Okay, Deeper Globalism, they haven't come up a post in a little while. And I would normally have them as a capo, but I'm going to put him as a soldier. I love the professor. He does a great Lee Cole. Now, Lee and Cole and I had our differences in the past. We have since made up. I can't let what I feel about him good, bad, or ugly influence. I would normally not even have Lee Cole on this list. I have to put Lee Cole as an associate. What's holding uh, Lee back is two things to getting his finger pricked proverbially is I wanted to wash out kind of the Danny Trio era. And then number two is if he can get his soul mob content and knowledge up, certainly next time I do this, he'll be, uh, he'll be at a higher level. Versus not in terms of, you know, views, pivot a little bit. You try some new co uh, topics, you try some new content. How's that going and how the results? Actually, I've been getting views are down, but I'm still getting great reviews. Bill Stacks. Bill Stacks, I have as an associate. This is a guy that I want to make. This is a guy I want to prick his finger. I'm a big fan of his show. I think he does a great job. I think he veers off at times, and he's got to market himself better to get his views up. Once he does, um, he'll be a rock star, but for now, we're going to put him at the associate level. I thank Sammy for that. 
uh, but I have to downgrade him to Capo uh, of the mob genre. Next up is uh, Michael Francis. Um, I would put him at underboss, and some people may be rumbling in the comments. He should be boss. He's has a million subs. The only reason why I'm not going to put him as boss, boss, and I love Michael, but always real fair to me, is kind of shied away a little bit from the mob stuff, applying mob logic. But if you're like a hardcore mobologist, um, I think you'll agree with the underboss designation. Next up is OC Shorts. I have to put him up there uh, with underboss. You might think he's a capo, but he is an underboss. He is the pinnacle of consistency. Um, 50,000 subs, although not the biggest um, uh, player in the space, a leader in the individual content creator side. Not a, not a mobster himself, just a content creator, but does it well and elevates him to underboss status. And don't be surprised if he reaches boss status someday. Oh Johnny God. Eli. Okay, Stop. now I have to put him right. where he is in All real right. life, is good? associate level. Now, at one point, like Johnny and Gene right show in terms of the ranks oh, was easily an underboss. Pants. Challenges. He took a little break from YouTube. Uh -huh. He's yes, kind of yes, hooking yes. back up with Felix. I'm a big Felix fan. I interviewed him in the I past. Really Re-establish themselves. You do get yeah. their stride. So I, I wouldn't prick his finger as far as the mob stuff yet. I'll put Johnny A. Light as an associate. Jeff Nadu, Sit Down News. Uh, big, um, oh, sorry, Mob History Podcast. Sit Down News is uh, Don Panisi. I, I will prick Jeff's finger and enter him into the Cosa Nostra of the mob genre. Um, Jeff does a great job at covering uh, mobsters that are little, little well known, the like lesser well known. I think he might um, over collaborate a little bit. That was what I think he's holding him back from Capo. I think what collaborating brought him up to this point, but sometimes what gets you here won't get you there. So if Jeff stays consistent, uh, like OC Shorts, I would have a capo status next time I do this. My former colleague, John Panisi, just like in life, he was a soldier with the Lucchese family. I have him as a soldier here. What John does is provide recent information, uh, provides fresh information, and I think he's doing a very nice job at covering a lot of the stuff that's going on in Italy. Um, so I kind of like his perspective on how he takes an American cause and Nostra review to what happens in Italy, past and present, uh, my only knock on, I think he over edits a little bit, but kudos to John and I have him at social level. Say me and my other logo. Um, she did not make this logo and um, this is kind of what we came up with. And maybe I'll get a studio, have a big armchair, you know, that kind of stuff. Not a, not a take on Sammy, it's more an expression. Um, so stay tuned for that.